Are you ready for a championship match inside this steel cage? What a night of action so far, Peter Brown, and the hits just keep on coming. Here is the ASW Women's Champion, Kikyo, in her 469th day as champion. The longest reigning champion in all-star wrestling right now. Kikyo has been dominant. Kikyo has been absolutely unstoppable since taking that title away last March. Facing all comers and maybe perhaps the winningest women's champion in the history of All-Star Wrestling. But she has not had to defend that title in the cage. And as we established Rose too injured to compete tonight, we don't actually know who Kikyo's opponent is tonight, Peter. Well, I don't think Kikyo knows either. A rare sight to see her at a disadvantage. She has found a way to keep that title. They're both means of getting it done in the center of the ring and creative legal loopholes. But what a reign it's been, Peter. What a reign it's been. Sheer dominance, both inside and outside of the wrestling ring. And once again, four 169 days. The following contest is a steel cage match and it is for the All-Star Wrestling Women's Championship! The only way to win this match Submission or escaping the cage with both feet touching the ground. Introducing first the champion. Could we be looking at the... Some, some harsh words for Refi Mark. That's the legal loopholes you were talking about. Mm. And, and here comes Joe King. I've, I've never seen Refi Mark so worked up. Well, he did try to interrupt the American National Anthem on several occasions. Head official Joe King sending Refi Mark to the back. And it looks like we've got a Zim at ringside recording the humiliation of Refi Mark. Since Lewis Rosebud is out with an injury and can't be here to lose again, I'm calling ASWL on their bluff. I don't think they actually have anybody here for me today. She's married, former team and no champion, whatever. I don't care. So if there's really somebody back there, how about Mr. King? Right? You start a nice little 10 count, and if they're not here by the end of it, so sad, too bad. I'm still your ASW women's champion. Well, I mean, I I'm okay with that. You know I'm okay with that. Nobody's come out yet. The champion has been introduced. It is a little bizarre, to be honest. Logan's leaving the ring. Leaving the ring with the 
title. And Kikio might escape again. Well, okay, count's begun. Count of two. And Kikio is about seven seconds away from retaining the championship. I haven't seen anybody. I haven't seen I, anybody I all day. I don't know who it is. I don't even know if we have anybody. Uh oh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is, Peter? It can't be. There's oh. no way! My goodness! Sue Young! Wait, wait a minute. The undead bride herself! A blast from the Tikio's past! I can't believe it, Peter oh, Brown. Kikio just came over here to grab her title and Wait oh my minute. goodness. Oh my uh -oh. goodness. Just, ah! She hit Kikio right in the head. Kikio down to one knee. What are we witnessing here, Peter Brown? Never would I have ever thought. Ah! Sue Young has been at the heart of some of the craziest moments of Kikyo's career. Oh my goodness! That sign just broken in half across the back of Kikyo. These two certainly have history. Kikyo looks like she's seen a ghost and I think perhaps she has. Peter Brown, I'm in, I'm stunned right now, but perhaps I, I, I shouldn't be surprised. These two have been chasing each other up and down the West Coast for the last decade. Well, as you've seen the knee brace on Kikio's knee, which she's used to win several matches, a big part of the reason why she has that brace is because of the woman across from her. Absolutely, a matchup in Spokane where Sue Young tore into Kikio's knee, tore it up until she needed surgery. This almost feels like a sign of disrespect to our women's champion, Peter Brown. Ah! Sue Young charges in. Kikio drops down to that reconstructed knee. And the, oh my god. Fans don't know what to think. Kikio doesn't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Do you know what to think? Oh. Kikio, well, she's always in the fight, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Beautiful snap release, German, by the fallen flower. Kiku, of course, a 15-year vet of the ring. Sue Young has been around for that long as well. Their first meeting was all the way back in 2013 in Sacramento, California. And as you established, that match in Spokane many, many years ago where Kiku required surgery as well. No strangers to each other here. Oh my goodness! Could we be seeing the death of Kikio's championship reign? Ooh. You have to believe this is the toughest and hardest challenge that Kikio has had yet. No offense to all of her previous opponents, well, but she I, has not met someone with the experience of Sue Young. How do you prepare for something like this? Ah! Oh my goodness. Sue Young just smacked the smirk off the face of the fallen flower. I can't believe this. Sue Young in the ring with Kikio. Rage in the cage, Vancouver. The fans going wild cheering for Sue Young here. Ah! Big European uppercut. And. Uh oh. Kikio had that one scouted out. This is at least the fourth time that the two of them have met. They also met previously in Portland in a triple threat. Oh triple. my goodness, Senton connects for the champion. Could she retain? Only a count of two. Yeah, meeting meeting once again in a triple threat against Rebel Kell at DOA in Portland. So they are very familiar with each other. They've definitely scouted each other out on occasion. 
Sue Young answered the call, showed up here in Vancouver for a championship match against Kikio. Oh my goodness, Kikio driving that knee right into the jaw of Sue. Sue Young missed wildly. Oh, Kikio saying open the door. Kikio trying to get out of here. Wait and a minute. That oh! I believe they picked that sign up from the construction across the street. Sue Young also scouting the venue around before she came in. Well, she'll use anything. She doesn't care. Whatever it takes to win. Whatever it takes to win. Sue Young now pulling Kikio. And Kikio crawling, crying. I have never seen Kikio this vulnerable since she started her championship reign. Well, her nightmares have come to life in front of her. Ooh. Sue Young now. Looking for a submission here. What a way to end the incredible reign of Kikio. Hey, wait a second, she has not, she, the reign isn't over just yet. Peter well, it's now. certainly in jeopardy right now. I'll give you that. No. Sue Young. Uh-oh. I do not consent! Uh -oh. ah! Wait a minute. What is she winding up for? Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, no! From Hearts! Oh, boy. And all different kind of pain and hurts, and, and it definitely hurts. And the fans getting right behind Sue Young here with that Sue chant. Sue trying to pick up Kikio and now, oh my goodness. Samoan drop by Kikio, which we've seen so many times. Kikio mobilize her opponent. Into the cover, the count. Did she get her? And ooh. And straight from the depths of hell, Sue Young stays in the match. You know, based on their previous encounters, you'd think Kikia would have that scouted out a little bit more, that it's going to take a little bit more than that to take down somebody with the tenacity, the experience of Sue Young. Kikia now going up. You don't normally see her take high risks, but... Oh, she's looking for anything. Cage. What is Sue setting up here for? Oh, no. What is the undead bride looking for? More malice. Kikio's head into that cage there. And the cage was shaking. Kikio's legs are shaking. Oh my God. What is Sue setting up for here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sue teetering oh. so precariously. Big knee to the face of Kikio. Oh my God. Oh, putting all of her weight onto Kikyo. Wait a minute. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Oh, what is Sue Young setting up for? Choking the life out of Kikyo. And there's nowhere for Kikyo to go. She is trapped against the cage. Sue Young now picking up. Kikio. Oh! Wait oh. a minute. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Oh my goodness! Could this be it? <laughs> Kikio just hit everything. Kikio also looking worse for wear there. Kikio climbing, or crawling rather, to the door. Trying to escape, perhaps. Oh, no. And there is no escape. There's nowhere to run. Oh, boy. 
Uh-oh. Oh! Well, I think referee Mark just got, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Refi Mark just took. But Kikio! That's it. Kikio's escaped. Kikio has escaped. The damn Kikio found a way again. Champions find ways to win, Peter Brown. Sue Young gave it everything she had. Kikyo still holding on to that title with no sign of ever giving it up. Kikyo might just retire the ASW Women's Champion at this point. Well, you can see the fear in her eyes. Kikyo knows she literally escaped with one here tonight in Vancouver. Well, credit and where credit is due to Sue Young coming all the way from the undead realm. Is that north or south of parts unknown? I would say that somewhere south-southeast, my friend. Sue Young heading back to the undead realm without ASW gold, but to a big ovation from the fans, thanking her for making her way here. Well, that's one that I would love to see again. Sue Young and Kikio, what a match.